Hello everybody, my name is Ty, and welcome back to another episode of Dungeons, Wings, and Spatials. Now, where did we leave left off? Oh yeah, we got ourselves the tool forge, made out of block of irons. Not true, we made that out of steel, you... Ah, whatever. Uh, it's night time, let's go to bed. <laughs> Yeah, we got a lot of steel done in the last episode. And of course, finally, we made ourselves the tool forge. Oh man, this thing. So this is our uh, tool station right now. And this is the tool forge. This baby allows us to craft a whole new arsenal of weapons and tools. And the first thing we're going to make is a hammer. Now, what is a hammer, you may ask? The hammer is the greatest tool ever made. Not MP3. But the first thing we need is some casts for it. So, let's do that right now. The first thing we need is a... A pattern, first of all. We need the tough binding pattern, I think, right? I, I, always, I always forget which patterns I actually need. Okay, let's just... Um, wait, hold on a second. Uh, quest book. Um, we unlocked this new quest line, by the way, and we can now accept this quest. And yeah, they want us to make a whole bunch of new patterns here, huh? Well, we can give them what they ask for. So, uh... The hammer head, axe head, excavator head, tooth binding, tooth tool rod case, and large plate case. Okay, we can make all of these things. Um... So first of all, we need a tooth binding. Then we need a uh, large pattern. Then we need a um, tough rod. Then wait. Um, then we need a. Well, we need this one way or another. So I'm gonna make it now. Oop. Then we need a excavator head. Then we need a very good commentary, I know. Hammerhead. Not the fish, but you know. And let's just throw in this right now while I go look for things. Because I need more stone. There we go. My my, finally all of this mining for stone is being useful slightly. Okay. Uh, we got this as the hammerhead, and I think... what else do we need? Uh, I think that's pretty much all, right? Pretty sure I'm forgetting something here. Um... Oh yeah, the broad axe head, I think. I don't... I didn't make the broad axe head yet. There we go. Uh, that's all. Now let's just use up all these, then we can move on. By, by actually making what we want to make. And the first thing I really need is just... So, I tend to make my first hammer out of mana steel. Because it's just, like, the easiest to get for me right now. But I would, like, recommend it making out of cobalt, really. For, like, starters and all. Since usually getting cobalt isn't really the problem for me. I can easily get it in the nether whenever I really want to, even though I don't have light right now, which is kind of annoying, but, you know. Sacrifices have to be made. And in this chapter, we can get a whole bunch of steel, like, by cheesing our quests, like we did ourselves, uh, the bronze quest cheese. And that is really, really good, actually. Since steel kind of takes a long while to make, as you can see. So all of this is just... Welcoming. Uh, and look at that. Oh, wow. Yeah. Brown rune. Meh. As you can see, we already got some mana steel, so they really want us to make this out of mana steel, apparently. <laughs> well, we can give them that. We actually have, I think, yeah, just enough to make ourselves a hammerhead. Uh, there's some silver in there, right? Yeah, silver and mana steel combines into Shibuchi. So I'm gonna have to get the silver out, first of all. Um, yeah, let's do that really quick. 
Uh, there we go. We got this quest done now. Uh, I'm just gonna throw in all of this in here right now. Uh, and then we also need ourselves a bowstring and a bow limp cast. Okay, we can do that. A bowstring. There we go. And I don't know what a limp is. I never actually made this, I think. Uh, how do you make this? Oh, out of... Oh, yeah. Uh, is it this thing? No, what is it? Is it... Oh, it's this. Damn, I'm blind. Uh, you need these, I think, for, like, the longbows and stuff, but... I usually don't make them, because bows and this are kind of annoying to deal with. I'd rather just have a really strong sword. Okay. So there we go. Got ourselves all these new patterns. Now let's get rid of the silver. One by one. And then they want us to make some string and some... Warsair stuff. Oh, well, I guess. Uh, but we need like 16 steel ingots to fill all these quests out, which is kind of annoying if you ask me. How much steel is done right now? Okay. Ugh, yeah, this is gonna take a while. I'm gonna have to empty out this bad boy again. Actually, uh, do we have an ender pearl by any chance over here? We don't have an ender pearl, huh? Ah, damn. Yeah, we need an ender pearl for this. I don't think we have one. Nope. Oh well. Because I, what I wanted to make is a, a liquid trash, but you need an ender pearl, and well, I don't have an ender pearl. Can't make it. Well, yeah, nah. Need to find Enderman. Need to kill it now. Come on. This is like last episode. We just need more steel, really. Okay. Come over here. Wait, what? Oh, it's ghosting. Uh, I can just do this, right? Yeah. Then I just have to mine one block deep and then put all my oil in here. Okay, there we go. Having a nice bath in our <laughs> oil. Uh, let's throw in some more coal into our coke oven right there. Like I said, we're just gonna need all the coke coal that we can get. There we go. In here. One more steel done. Just eight more steel and then we can start cheesing. Okay. And the last one. And now let's throw this in. Uh, wrong pickaxe. This pickaxe. Really need to start replacing the head of that one. Yup. This will do. And then I need some... well, I can make the, uh, the hammer parts out of cobalt, so they last longer. Like the sticks. I, you, I just need the main part to be made out of mana steel. So, I can have myself a, th a hammer that I can repair pretty easily, but also is really durable. Okay, there we go. Now this is gonna take a while, since this is literally more than a block. It's gonna take a long time to fill up and cool down. Uh, I need more iron in here. I really do. So let's get some more iron and throw it in here. Uh, that's steel. Can't make steeler steel, you know? Doesn't work that way. Okay. You're gonna take your sweet ass time. Uh, meanwhile, I'm gonna sort these in, I guess. Money goes over here, and ingots go over here. There. Oh man. And there's our hammer almost done. Yay. And then we need some more cobalt, I think, right? Because we don't have enough. Uh, we can throw in some more. I don't think, yeah, this is the only couple cobalts we got. Well, in that case, let's go into the nether. I mean... The rest of us, like the rest of the things that we're gonna do right here is just wait for our steel to be done. Um, 
I'm gonna do something here really quick. Or... No, I can't do that really quick, damn it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I thought of something cool, but then I realized, oh yeah, I can't do that yet. I don't have <laughs> jack all. Okay. Well, let's head into the nether. What's the worst that could happen? Me dying horribly in every way possible. Okay. Geronimo. So, main mission is just literally getting cobalt. I could also make the handle out of Ardite, I guess. I don't think Ardite is much more durable than... Well, it comes with like a sort of neat effect. I think, you know what, just for the sake of this LP, I'm gonna go a different... Oh my god. Yeah, me and the boys about to crush your existence. <laughs> uh, please get me out of here ASAP. Uh, cobalt, cobalt. Let's keep our eyes peeled for cobalt. Literally all I need is cobalt. Nothing else. Nothing else. Uh, cobalt. Cobalt. Cobalt? Cobalt. There's one cobalt too close by everybody else. Uh, please reach. Thank you. Um. Okay, good thing this hook just gets you where you want to be. Um, there, that's a lot of cobalt, but also a ender regen quicksand life seed. Oh, that's a whole lot, and I'm kind of stuck here actually. No! Yeah, I'm, uh, I need to do something <laughs> really dangerous here. Um, what effect? Did I get there for a second? I don't know. Uh, this is stupid. Everywhere where I want to be, I can't be okay. Not following me. That's all right. Um, this is the freezy area. Do I want to be in the freezy area? I think I want to be in the freezy area, honestly. Because I don't think like all the there aren't all that much place juggernauts. Uh, and some ardite. There's a dog who's probably gonna come for me. There are a couple of dogs that are gonna come for me. And a squid. Yeah, the only thing that are here are wraiths, and I'm not really too scared of these guys. Ah, they are actually here. Well, that's too bad. Um, this ice doesn't actually sl uh, allow me to slide, which is really good, because otherwise I would have been a really bad combination with all the soul sand around. Yeah, these guys. They look really weird. And of course, there's already a champion version nearby. And some cobalt, 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 uh, place drug not, cobalt, uh, and ardite. Give me both, I need both, and oh, of course there happens to be... When did all of you guys appear? Come on! At least let me know where you're coming over for a party. Ah oh, man. So much shenanigans at once. I hear a slime who's dying right now, about now. And you guys don't trade anything good, do you? No. Uh, that, that's a single place juggernaut. I can. That's two place juggernauts. I'm gonna bail. Oh man. And another fortress. Spiders. Not right now, kind sir. I'd rather not deal with invisible enemies. Great. Just my forte. Uh, Spore Creeper. Nope. I'm gonna skip out on you. And you're not even gonna notice a thing. Watch me go up here and there's an immediately a place gonna shoot in my face. No, okay. I just want cobalt. <laughs> Nothing else. Really. 
Okay. Um. Juggernaut coming up. Two juggernauts coming up. Uh, cobalt right there. Gonna take it. Uh oh, wither. Wither's gotten big boy, wither boy. Um, no, it's just one around. I could, I could take him. Uh, nope, it's a regen act. Oh well, I think I can take him. No, look at his health. He heals instantaneously. Something is definitely wrong with like the regen effect on these guys because they just regen up 100% health at like in a single second. That's not how they they are supposed to work. Is my guess. Oh boy. Okay, I'm trapped. What the hell? Oh, what the hell? When? Since when? Uh, slash home. This guy. Damn it. Uh, let's see how much coal I got though. Let's see how much coal I got. If the world ever wants to load in. Okay, there we go. Let's see. We got five. That's not really all that good. Well, let's throw it in anyways. I can't throw in the Ardite yet, otherwise I get Mandolin. And, uh, do I want Mandolin? I kind of do want Mandolin on there, not gonna lie. Because, uh, oops, I accidentally clicked outside the game. Uh, I kind of want this to also be a weapon of sorts. Yeah. Hmm. You know what? Let's make get let's go completely crazy. We're gonna make one casting out of cobalt. The stick is gonna be Ardite, and the other side is gonna be made out of Manulin. Hell yeah. Okay. Coke coal's done. We just need five more. And then we can go ahead and uh, actually, mm, uh, let me take a look here really quick. Um, this would come with lightweight and this would be momentum and extra lightweight, huh? Uh, 75 durability, extra durability is 225. Mm. Uh, let's take a look at Ardite. Ardite, uh, okay, so we got 75, and this one has negative 350. What, what? I thought this had a lot of durability. Why is those sticks so bad? Okay, let's make the... the... the tough rod then out of cobalt then. I guess. Uh... Yeah, because this has stone bound, and stone bound basically means that it can heal itself sometimes when consuming stone. But now that I think about it, I don't know if that works on the cobalt. Okay, this has more durability, so so I'm probably gonna. You know, I'm gonna throw this back in, and then use. A Ardite and Manulin. So basically this will be our... Yeah, I just noticed because this has a lower modifier, but Ardite has a higher modifier. So that's why Ardite has a negative, huh? Well, this also comes with Lightweight, so I'm gonna keep that. Then I'm gonna make the one side out of Manulin and the other one out of Ardite. So, um... I think that's how I'm gonna do it. Or am I? You know what? Screw it. Pick this out. Let's make both sides out of cobalt. Who cares? Just give me everything you got. Actually, man, I'm so indecisive about this. Let's just both make these out of cobalt for now. Who cares? We can al always change our things that we apply to it. 
later down the road when we actually have like the resources to do so. Come on. And I just want to get the like one hammer done this episode. Just to show you the power of these. Okay, here we go. Gobalt, gobalt, gobalt. There we go. 1,300 base durability. That's quite a lot. It has lightweight mana and momentum. Lightweight is... um. I'm going to show you. Ahem. Increases the overall speed of your tool when mining and attacking. Mining blocks increase your speed as long as you keep going, which is very good if you're tunneling, just like me, just going straight in for a while. Definitely really good, but this is pretty fast on its own, actually. Um, now we're going to add some modifiers to it, because I don't. I, I want to go as rarely as possible on like terms of repair this thing. So Emerald is really good on this. And of course Diamond, since both of them just really work well with each other. Okay, there we go. And there we go. Uh, now let's add some Lapis to it, I guess? Yeah, let's go. Uh, do we have any more Lapis? Don't we have like a billion Lapis? Yeah, we do. <laughs> Man. Uh, yeah, let's go. Throw all of it on the table. There we go. Fortune... no, wait, not yet. <laughs> Almost stack is necessary. Oh, at least we're cleaning out this chest. So, the reason why fortune, putting fortune on the hammer is so great is not... It doesn't only work as fortune, it also works as looting. So now I have looting 3 and fortune 3 on this. So when I'm going out there, going hunting for ender pearls, then like in between, I don't know when I'm gonna do that. Um, there's a really high chance I actually get some out of these. Now, but uh, this is not the only reason why making this hammer is so great. This hammer, just like the hammers we used very early on, mine in a 3x3 radius. And as you can see, these are much like better to repair or make and much more durable than the hammers we've been using so far. I mean, I could have made some diamond hammers. We have all the diamonds in the world. But I don't want to use my methane gas on those. Uh, uh, I just noticed there's some coal down there. And just being able to mine really quick, just... Ah, uh, it's so good. Helps everything in every way. And this... This is what this progress was all about, about making hammers. I mean, the excavators and all, like the claymore and such, are really cool too. Lots of damage, melee weapons, we're, we're gonna do those sooner or later. But right now I'm not really interested in fighting all that much, I'm more into the practical things. And we need one more steel ingot to start cheesing our uh, steel quest so we can make more steel. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Okay. I'm not planning on making a longbow or anything like that, so I'll, I'll just bail on those for now. But now that I got this, I will be just mining in between episodes all day long. And of course, we need a lot of, like, mana steel to, to repair these. I mean, you could go the ecological route, too, and just wait until your hammer is prepared, but I don't have time for this. Uh, I need my my quick fix when I need it. Additionally, you could, uh, if you really want to, like, go crazy with the hammer, you can uh, make uh, this mending moss, which basically gives your, uh, gives the mending enchantment, but uh, I don't think we can make this, uh, we, uh, rune thing yet. Yeah, because we're, uh, we need this table with some white magic essence. We don't know what that yet is. But our steel is gonna be finished very soon, and that means we can start cheesing! Cheesing! The greatest cheese of all time. Obviously using steel is also pretty, like, valid. And by the way, I never actually claimed my, uh, small storage crate here. You, you, you've seen these in the last world, these things are baller. And also really convenient for my mining expeditions that are going to be happening now, because 
I'm gonna put all my ore that I have in there. Oh yeah, baby, you know it. All the ore. Okay, let's sort in our blocks here really quick. There we go. And our steel should be done. There we go. And let's throw in all our steel here. Ah, oh, baby. Progress, progress, hooray. And more, more importantly, now we're gonna get uh, access to some really good rewards because this is basically a sort of like mid game um, or like late early game kind of like quest line that we are in right now. You're not supposed to be in here, I think, until you get um, some like a bit of the, until you're like later into like all the machinery and stuff. But this is just so convenient to have because you can get some rewards that are really helpful. Uh, in terms of like progressing in the main quest line. So first things first, let's make the hammerhead. So we can, yeah, go down this line. This, you can't really see it. I, I don't like, uh, I, I don't know why they didn't do this for like all the quest lines. Just make it visible what you can do and what you can't. And I never claimed this quest right there. I should probably claim all the stuff that I can, shouldn't I? Oh well. So far so good, but now we just made our biggest breakthrough yet in the entire series. We can make so much more stuff now. Holy moly. Like this is gonna like skyrocket our mining process. And obviously this is also gonna mean that I'm gonna have to spend some more time. And look at that, we got ourselves the hammer quest and we're immediately gonna throw in the hammer again. Thanks for not really checking for making the tools, and we're getting more steel out of this. So nice, isn't it? Okay, 30 is in here. Let's get a bed, and we get a submarine sandwich. Hooray. Oh man, this is, this is, a, the golden age starts now. The golden age starts now, let me tell you. Uh, do we have enough mineral chunks, by the way, now? We should, right? Yeah, we have nine mineral chunks, which means we can make a mineral block, which we're going to need for our, like, cell crafting recipe, which I'm pretty sure we have everything for that right now. Yeah, look at that. Two, two, uh, eight, and, um, yeah, I think that's it, really, right? Oh yeah, the silicon plate and the red sub block. Uh, silicon plate. There you go. And let's quickly make a redstone block. Just like that. Uh, I'm trying to keep my mouse a bit further away from my microphone so you don't hear my clicking all the goddamn time. But uh, it's a thing to get used to. Do I have any copper? Yeah, I do. I made so many of these, thankfully. And there we go, here is a basic energy cell, which we're not going to use right now, but uh, we're going to just progress down the road. Anyways, our steel should be done, let's throw in something else. Let's make a... Uh, I need actually two steel plates for this one, so I can't do this one yet, but I can make the excavator. So let's get the excavator head. Uh, right there. So this in, get that steel. That's a real steal if you catch my thrift. But well, most importantly, we got ourselves a couple more rewards here. Nice. Uh, I don't think you need to go this way, but you definitely need to go that way. Um. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna use these on two more cells just so, so we can get some more uh, liquid silicon going. So I need some really badly. Okay, uh, do we have anything really cheap that I can burn? Do I? I need something really, really cheap. Um, like... What? 
Okay, I'm gonna use a single piece of- wait! Yeah, Lignite burns. Imagine being so cheap. Just imagine. Okay, wait, this is not the right chest. This is the right chest. Whoop de doo. Two silicon cells. Uh now we need red alloy plates. I think did we make red alloy plates or like at least ingots a while back? Yeah we did. Okay, we're gonna use those so it's in here. Oh wait. Um hold on. Because I wanna make leadstone pipes. Does it okay yeah, it does take the plates. Just I just wanted to make sure here. Uh we have to let some plates in here, that's alright. Um I'm gonna throw in a single piece of coal here. Just so we get energy. Okay. Nom. And our excavator is done. Let's throw this back in. And get more steel. Hooray! Look at all this food. Throw it in here. Oh man. Feels good to finally make some large progress over like the last episode we just <laughs> we've just been waiting for steel now everything is rolling down which is why i feel like this mod pack feels really satisfactory once you got like uh and i know satisfactory is another game haha uh -huh, but um once you like roll once you get the rock rolling you just basically ah oh, it feels so good until you hit the next break and then once you conquer that it, it it's like the ever like swinging circle of array things are working now and then until you have the next wall and you get climbed and you start climbing again. Feels really good. Not gonna lie. Feels real good. Okay, by the way, I think almost all of these are two two seeds now. I don't know if I ever showed that around, but yeah. Our ascents is come on, let me up, please. It's not that hard. But yeah, our sense is uh, doing their job. Uh, okay, plates should be done, yep. Uh, Let stone should be done. Um, now we just need glass. Well, time to make some glass, I guess. Oop dee doo. And then we can put in all the stuff in here. I'm gonna make two um, sets of these uh, just because it's just four lets and cells that I'm gonna miss out later on but meh. I'm gonna do that right now even though yeah this takes less silicon. Huh. Well whatever. It's not like I'm gonna get there and I could can't jump. That's a German saying. That didn't make any sense. Uh, da, 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 da. Just come on, give me the last piece of glass here. And then we're gonna be done with the episode once. Yeah, okay. Uh, thought is in. Uh, we need tools. We need the hammer and cutters. Yeah, or pliers. Hooray. Okay. Uh, wait, what? Oh, we need two more let's zone. Uh, do we have a, do we have any more lead in here? Come on. Well, yes, we can cook up some lead. Lead's not all that much used overall, I think. Hmm. But most importantly, we can make ourselves the next steel tool, which I think was the broadhead. Let me make sure. Yeah, broadhead. Broadhead. There we go. And our lead is already done. Uh, okay, this was a mistake. Because now I'm gonna have to wait for the lead. Uh, which means I'm just gonna... Normally smelt to lead, I think. Or, well, I can polarize it. There we go. Hey, luck was with me. Uh, let's throw it in here, really quick. I just need two lead. Thank you very much. 
one. And come on. Two. Okay. So this in here, up in there. So this in here. And then I guess, yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it for the episode. Okay, let's let's see our quest line progress here. Uh yep, we're gonna come together here once we get the fluid ducts. And well well, I could have gotten some lit from the reward here. Meh. Okay, there we go. And some more lit stone flux ducts. What all of these are this is not important right now. We just need to make all of these so I can use them later on. Hey, look, I com I can't complete this quest right now because of all like the jam we ate. We got some balls. Do we have like a, a jam lying around? I think we do. Do we? Do we really have not? Do we, don't we? Do we not have any jam? Oh, that sucks. Well, whatever. Then I guess I'm not gonna complete that quest right now. And uh, that was from the fire resistance potion. I just realized. Uh, don't we have like another potion that we can drink? Yeah, we do. Quest finished. Look at us go. Well, I thank you so much for watching this episode of Dungeons, Dragons and Space Shuttles. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.